Okay, Aries. So I am recording this for the second or third time. I actually was trying to upload the first video on Aries December 2019, but it kept failing miserably. I don't know why. So maybe um, it's like giving me a message that maybe that reading was not accurate enough or maybe there are informations in that reading that needs to expand more um, give you guys more information that you can really benefit for the month of december so i'm doing this reading and if you are not aware i started youtube readings around uh, 2015 and the way that i do my readings is really more on channeling more on like this the, the cards are scattered like this and i will put in a lot of cards a lot of different cards like using oracle cards lenormand and playing cards all around and i really don't um, tell you guys the specific meaning of the cards like i have been doing recently but the way that i really do my readings in the past you know for pioneer members of my youtube channel is that i do the channeling messages of the entire reading based on what i'm picking up and i just speak whatever that comes into mind and what i whatever i'm picking up so for this reading for aries december 2019 part two um i'm going to be doing just that you know i'm just gonna be channeling everything that i'm picking up and maybe <laughs> my uploading is going to come through and maybe this is the you know the messages that you should be getting anyway so um yeah but then again you know um this is still a general reading so i cannot stress that enough so yeah just keep that in mind so aries for december 2019 okay so um we do have a lot of things going on for you but most importantly i kind of feel that you are at the point of your life that you wanted to make something happen in terms of your love life in terms of your relationship there is something that you really really want to push forward something that you know um i kind of feel that this is a situation where in commitment is going to be a big theme for you maybe you are in a situation right now where in um it feels as if you are there in a relationship but at the same time it feels as if you're not in a relationship so this might be causing you a lot of grief because we do see here that you know as if there is a relationship but at the same time you're really not seeing eye to eye with this person and this is what you are really focusing on and this is what you want to come through and push forward in your life we do see here that you know um it feels as if you have felt some form of accomplishment maybe someone has made you feel better about yourself you felt love you have felt a lot of abundance in you a lot of you know wonderful energies but being with you i kind of feel that this person their feelings is not really that passionate it's a lot more neutral um and that is why that you know it feels as if you are in a relationship but it lacks substance we're in it's not really the type of relationship that you think is going to make you happy it's not really that fulfilling what i'm getting here is that you have been really um devastated also there is a sense of stagnation in terms of your relationship so this can be really frustrating because you wanted to push forward in your relationship you wanted to make something happen you wanted a commitment you wanted some form of engagement to happen in a relationship but you, what you're getting is that there is a, a, some form of standstill in your relationship and you know you have been thinking quite a lot of things wherein things are becoming exaggerated and it's causing you some form of mis misery so yeah i'm getting here that you're thinking about someone 
who is around you, who is in your own energy. It feels like they are with you, but at the same time, it's as if they are not really crossing the boundaries of really solid commitment, really passionate love, really passionate relationship. And this might be causing you some form of troubles, some form of, you know, anxiety issues, or this can be really frustrating for you, in fact. And what I'm getting here is that in the near future, there is going to be something that can create a shakeup in this relationship so maybe this is it could be that this is the status quo of your current setup current relationship and what i'm getting here is that you have this tower card with the wheel of fortune and this can really change everything it's like some form of faded event is going to change dramatically in your life this can also be a situation wherein you're not really in touch with the person that you want the person that you love and even though that you know you want some form of engagement with them as if the two of you are really passive the two of you are not doing anything the two of you are not really acting upon anything no forward advancement that, that is really happening so it feels like you know everything is on the mind but for the month of september something is really gonna change right there some form of faith and karmic event is going to be transpiring that can change the overall situation of that relationship and i have to be honest this can be both b good or bad i mean this is the tower and the wheel of fortune this can play out in a relationship or in you know the relationship is not good anymore and you might as well eventually break up again this is a general reading so what i'm picking up are just general energies i'm so i'm not really saying that this is going to be a breakup but hey this is the tower card you know there could be a falling out but at the same time don't get me wrong okay i just kind of feel that this can be progressive movement as well like something that you don't expect to happen anymore suddenly um, happens you know it could be a really positive thing wherein it could be a dead relationship that suddenly comes alive out of the blue and you know it might surprise you that kind of energy we also have this five of cups over here so you know there is an energy of you are really feeling depressed really looking back into the past and right now what is really important for you is to just gain your power back just to feel better with yourself because i kind of feel that um all of this thinking of yours all of this you know frustration has caused you to not love yourself too much or even though that you're loving yourself it just feels as if you're not your happy self and what you want to have is to be happy you want to be pursued you want to be a woman you want to feel love and that's really what you want but hey a surprising factor here is you have the outcome card of this three of cups so this is really a good energy you know i know that things might seem to be tricky for december for you because there's going to be big changes and big events that is going to be transpiring for the month of december for you guys especially but with this three of cups it's like a blessing in disguise happens there could be something good about this energy it could be a reunion getting together happy times being together with that person or having that special relationship coming up for you as well so you know it could be a situation wherein maybe you guys need to undergo this energy some form of you know an explosion of emotions explosive scenario can happen but the result is that you know something good can come about there you know the overall outcome of the energy will allow the two of you to come back to each other and to really unite to be together with one another so um yeah we are seeing here that you know right now you might be 
becoming possessive we do have this queen of spades over here with the seven of spades like i said there is frustration in the air there is a sense of caution so it's it's really not a forward momentum that we are getting here but with the five of clover and the six of clover this is about you know some form of improvement in terms of communication that is really gonna be transpiring so um yeah i really like this um channeling message because all of the cards are quite supportive of the entire reading so that is really what i'm getting here so um yeah even though i'm really positive with this reading we know that you know once you are in that energy with once you are in that zone it's not going to be easy we do have a lot of spades here so this can be heavy this can be depressive this can cause you a lot of mental anxiety but at the same time know that this will lead you to some form of happiness later on so um yeah and this is just calling you to to notice what you really feel to notice what truly matters to you so um yeah i do see that some form of companionship in the air is going to come up and to not let go of your target to not lose hope in things to not um don't get confused basically is what i want to say don't can get confused of other things in your mind don't listen to other what other people are telling you because i kind of feel that that really can greatly affect your own energy and what i'm getting here is basically that you know if you are in a relationship issue right now the only way that you can be able to fix this is to to focus on that person to talk with that person and to be more open to what possibilities that can happen with that person you know not really with the other people in place so this is also a situation wherein if things are not happening as quite fast as you want or not in the way that you desire things to be be patient that is really the biggest message here we do have here you know you'll know in the morning <laughs> so and a yes card so yeah if you have a question right now in your mind will i get back together with my ex or will you know whatever question that you have right now with yourself with your love life with your relationship we are getting here that you know yes you will get it yes it will happen so um yeah that is really the biggest message that i'm picking up over here so it is all positive i mean it's not all flowery it's not all super you know super um dreamy and all that in fact i can say that the month of december can be quite challenging for a lot of you guys but do know that not all hope is lost you know there is something good to expect and i do know that there is going to be some form of unions reunions that is going to be transpiring regardless of the current circumstances that you have right now we do have the two of cups over here hey we do have the lovers here so um we can say that you know partnerships communication is going to be big here decision making is also going to be big which i already discussed on my previous video it's just that this one i can feel that it's going to be a lot more specific maybe very specific for a certain person i don't know i'm just connecting in with all aries that i can pick up sun moon and rising sign so the fact that we have this two of cups means that you know there is some form of talking um cooperation that can happen in between two people so if some form of partnerships love can be quite of the theme and um yeah the only situation that you need to deal with right now is that you know if things are not happening in the way that you want them to be be patient it will happen in their own time everything happens in their own pace and yeah do not rush it is the biggest message here so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me if you haven't subscribed to my video yet please do so 
Uh, right now, I'm definitely going back to my old reading style, wherein I pick up all of the cards and give you guys a channeled message of what um, I'm picking up on this reading. I kind of feel that it's more straight to the point. I really hate the fact that I really need to give you guys each meaning of the cards because I kind of feel that that is not really the, w the right way to do a tower reading for a person that is really in need of insight and clarity and speaking of insight and clarity i do hope that this has given you guys some form of insight and clarity to what you can expect into your love life and relationship for the month of december 2019 and without any further ado thank you for watching again if you'd like a more personal reading more in depth and with prediction that is specifically for you you can do so on my website in the stars by and i'll see you guys next year.